We will now demonstrate how to program a web page theater mode to toggle the darkness on the page when you want to bring special focus to an existing box of content on the page. It does not have to be a movie. You can place any HTML content into the special box that is to stay active on the page while everything else on the page darkens and becomes inactive temporarily. So basically you're just turning the lights on and off, entering and exiting theater mode each time that's toggled. And then after the overlay goes away, you can then interact with all of the page content once again. Okay, now you see the finished product of what you're going to be learning how to create within this video tutorial, so let's rock and roll. So you'll be getting this video and one more video that's along the same lines, and the next video we're going to cover how YouTube pulled off their Lights Out for Earth Day application, because theirs was not covering a page with a dark overlay. They were actually changing the CSS on the page just to make the page appear darker. So we're going to cover that kind of functionality too, so you guys can see a full scope of this whole overlay and page darkening type of functionality that you see on websites. But this one here, that's theater mode that you just saw the example for, we're going to use a dark overlay. And I just have to make sure that you guys understand there's a, a difference between what YouTube was doing for Earth Day and their Lights Out application between what we're doing here for our website theater mode application and each would have its own special purposes within your applications because it's a different type of manipulation okay here's the document that we're going to be playing with you can see mine is called light switch example html you can see we have all the basics for our document ready to go the foundation the backbone of it we have a style tag ready here within the head tag and we also have a javascript scripting tag ready within the head tag of the document and then we have the body section here where we'll be putting our HTML content. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and start with the CSS so I'm going to open the index page that we worked on in the first video where we covered how to create a web page overlay. I'll tell you what I'll somehow link all of the videos to one another maybe in the top left and right side of the video you can get from one video to the next that's all along these same lines because there's really four videos that we're doing. So I'll, I'll link them all up so don't worry I'll make it easy for you. Alright so here is the code from that tutorial that we finished. Now you see where it says div overlay? I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna put it into my new page here on my new application because basically I'm gonna use the same exact code for that. And I'm gonna go back into the index page and just grab that div that's the overlay. See where it says start and overlay? I'm going to grab all that. Control C and go back into the body section of this new page and paste that in. Now what I can do is remove everything within that is within that overlay div and I'm just going to make that overlay div rest on one line there, the opening and closing tag for it. So there, you have your overlay all ready to go and you don't need anything else more for that. Now let's resume our CSS. And the next thing in the CSS we're going to be targeting an image tag that I'm going to put on the page in just a second and I'll walk you through that as well and that is going to have an ID of light switch and that's going to be the little light switch that you saw me toggling up and down on the page now it's going to have a position of relative and the positioning is kind of important because if you didn't position it correctly it wouldn't sit above the overlay which has a Z index of 2 the light switch has a Z index of 3 and if you recall from the last video, Z index is a way to give stacking order to your elements or a hierarchical stacking level so one can sit on top of the other. So we want to make sure that light switch is always on top of the overlay or else when the theater mode comes into play you won't be able to turn it off because the light switch will be under the overlay. So that's the only reason you see position relative and Z index of 3. It just has a higher Z index value than the overlay. Now you can see I'm giving it a background image here for the actual image tag. Now there's going to be an image within the image tag in the HTML but I'm giving it a background image that way my uh, light switch down mode is preloaded into the page. Now I set no repeat on it because I didn't want it to repeat within that image tag which it wouldn't anyway but I just wanted to make sure. So basically this line is in there to preload the light switch down graphics. That way when they click it to go into theater mode, light switch down graphics are preloaded into the page ready to go and it shows instantly. And then we just set cursor to pointer within that image tag 
that is the light switch. That way you can make sure that when the user's mouse goes over it, it changes to the little clickable hand symbol thing. That way they know they can interact with that button or that light switch. If you didn't set cursor to pointer here, it would just remain an arrow when they hover their mouse over that light switch. Now let's put that image tag within the HTML since we just got finished discussing the CSS for it. Okay, so let's go down in the HTML. I don't need this here. And I'm going to type in web page theater mode example. Then I'm going to highlight all of that text and press control 1. That way it wraps an H1 tag for me. Now I want an image tag. Now this image tag is going to be the special light switch. So you want to grab that ID name there in the CSS and make sure this image tag has that ID. Now we're going to put on mouse down because we want this function to fire off when the user clicks down with their mouse or you can use on click event there if you want. I'm just going to use on mouse down. It'll do the same thing really. But on mouse down and on click aren't exactly the same. But for my little application, they'll work pretty much the same. So you can use either on mouse down or on click, whatever you want. So in the on mouse down event, we're going to fire off a JavaScript function that we're going to write in one second up top. And let's just open close parentheses right there. That's ready to go. So that'll execute that function called toggle theater mode when the user mouses down on our light switch. Okay, let me close this image tag. I just put the closing bracket there. Now the next thing I want to do is give it a source image. Make sure the image tag has a source. Uh, light switch up by default. Then the width of my light switch was, I think, 19 pixels. And my height was 46, I believe. So you just put the dimensions of your light switch there. And you got to put an alt tag just to make sure it validates. And you can just say switch right there if you want. And the last little thing inside the image tag is the title. And this will display to the user when they hover their mouse over it. And by default, you want to say enter theater mode and save the file. Control S will save the file for you. Now we're going to place the last little bit of CSS, which is for a div that we're going to place in a moment in our HTML. It's going to have an ID of special. And that is your special content box, the content box that will never get darkened by the overlay. It's the special focus of the page when people go into theater mode. Most of the time you would have a movie playing there, but you can really have any kind of HTML content that you would like to put there because I set it up in such a way that the content will remain active when everything goes into theater mode. Whether it's text or images, in that special box the content will remain active. And you can make the background for that box be any color you want when everything goes into theater mode. You can change the color of the text using JavaScript within that box. Using JavaScript, you can change the color of the text within that box. Basically, using JavaScript, you can change everything about that special box when the application goes into theater mode. When it goes out of theater mode, you can change it all back using JavaScript. Okay, so div ID special, that gets a position of relative, just like the light switch did, and a Z index of 4. Actually, you can give that a Z index of 3, too, and I think everything will work out just fine. Now, all we have to do is stick special down in the HTML now. And that's going to be under our image tag. All right. Let's pop that in, and I'll explain it really quick for you. There's not much to it. It's a div tag with an ID of special. Inside of it, there's an embedded YouTube video. And I got that code by going to YouTube. And underneath each video at YouTube, it says, a little button called share. You click share and you get the embed code for the video. That's the exact code that I put in right there. Any video you want. You have a lot of freedom in placing your content and your div ID special and your image that your light switch and your overlay are not really going to affect all of your other page content that you might have existing on the page already. Now within this H2 tag I'm just going to put my web page has a lot of stuff on it. Just to show you you can have a lot of crap everywhere around all these things. And here, right next to your image that's your light switch button, I'm going to pop in an H3 tag that has the content saying I can put a title here if I want. So that title will be right next to your little light switch. And I put style display in line. That way it doesn't take up a whole new block on the page and it's sitting right next to your light switch. If you didn't put style display in line for that H3 tag, your light switch would be above this sentence. 
Now let's take a look at what we have on the page by pressing F12 if we're in Dreamweaver to render it to our browser. Now you can see when we click this button now nothing's going to happen because we haven't programmed the JavaScript yet. It's just a few lines of JavaScript and we're going to actually borrow the function from the first video on overlay to complete our new little application because the scripting is very similar. We're going to do a couple of different little things. So I'm going to go to the code in the first tutorial and I'm going to grab the JavaScript function that we had called toggle overlay. I'm going to place it into my JavaScript tag here in the new document. Now instead of being called function toggle overlay, this one is toggle theater mode. So let's make sure we change that to say function toggle theater mode. Now you see how we created this variable that represents the overlay div? We're going to leave that in place because we have our div overlay sitting here. So we're going to need to affect that div with our JavaScript. So we'll leave that line in place and we're going to put a new variable that targets the light switch. So let's grab that light switch's ID down in the HTML and put it right here. Bar light switch is equal to document dot get element by ID light switch. Now you see where we have if the overlay display is equal to block then we're going to make it disappear else if it's not showing on the page we're going to make it appear. So within the else if condition statement we're going to put a couple of more lines in both of those. Okay, so you can see that these two lines are affecting the light switch's source and title attributes for that HTML element. And the if condition takes care of making the overlay disappear, basically going back to the normal state of the web page, out of theater mode. That's what these three lines are doing, is taking the web page out of theater mode. These three lines put it into theater mode. So that's why in the title down here you want it to say exit theater mode and in the title here you want it to say enter theater mode and you want it to have different graphics as the source for that light switch when it's in or out of theater mode and that's all these two lines do is they toggle the graphics for that image and they also toggle what the title will say when the user's mouse hovers over it and that's it that's the whole application so let's press F12 and run it in the browser and see if we have a working script it's beautiful. So when we have our mouse over it and it's in theater mode, it says exit theater mode. When we have our mouse over it and it's not in theater mode yet, it says enter theater mode. It's exactly what we wanted. And look how quickly and beautifully that works. It's instant. It's nice. You can also apply jQuery to this script. You see where you have your overlay style display block and overlay display none? You know how in jQuery you can use the show function to make something animate over a few seconds to maybe fade it into view? You can just put that right there. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Like always, I'll have this script available just for referencing sake. And tune into the next video if you would like to see how YouTube pulled off their Lights Out for Earth Day application which is similar to this but it's a little bit different because they're targeting CSS and darkening the page that way instead of laying an overlay and disabling all this content on the page when YouTube goes into lights out mode you can still interact with everything on the page and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the next video bye bye